Hi there. My name is Jesse Moy. I'm a pastor with Crisis Yansa Ministries here in Nairobi, Kenya. In our last um, episode, we began a discussion talking about biblical worship. What is biblical worship? What is this worship that glorifies our Father in Heaven? And I think one of the things we underlined was the fact that when it comes to Christian worship, it must be biblical worship because God has not left us to try to figure out how to worship Him. He has given us the blueprint of, of, uh, of, of worship and how He would want us to worship Him in spirit and in truth. In this episode, I want to take this discussion a bit higher to the next level. And we want to talk about the God that we worship, the object of our worship. See, God is revealed in Scripture from the book of Genesis all the way to, the, to Revelation. There's that progressive revelation of who God is. And at the very beginning in Genesis chapter 1, we are revealed to a God who is a creator. Our God is the creator of heaven and earth. Everything that is seen and unseen has its origins and beginnings with God. There is nothing that is seen or unseen that is there, or that, uh, that, that uh, came outside of God. And he created all things from nothing, what we call ex nihilo. And through his own word, he created everything that there is. Our God is our creator. This is a God that we worship. This is a God of the Bible. And more than that, this God is revealed to us also as a triune God. A triune God means that he exists as God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now, there are all kinds of gods out there. There are all kinds of definitions of gods out there. But as long as they do not fit within the biblical God that is revealed to us in Scripture, as long as uh, the, a proper systematic theology has not been done about uh, the revelation of who God is, then we stand in danger of creating our own gods in our own minds and we begin worshipping that God. And that will have an implication on how we worship and uh, the outcome of our worship. So our God is revealed as the Creator, but He is also revealed uh, as one who exists as God the Father, He is God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And that is not to mean that God is a plur plurality. We, we don't worship many gods. We worship one God because uh, as God told His children, the nation of Israel, Behold, the Lord your God is one. The Trinity is a mystery for you and I. It's something that probably we may not understand, maybe in this life, fully understand or appreciate in this life. But we do know that this God exists as a triune God, God the Father, and He reveals the Father heart of God. But He's also revealed in His own dear Son, Jesus Christ, who came to die on the cross for our sins, the one and only begotten Son. But we also know that He is also revealed as the Holy Spirit, that blessed Holy Spirit, who is our comforter, who comes to enable us to live a victorious life, God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Again, like we said in our previous episode, therefore then our worship must reflect that triune God. Our worship must reflect that Creator, our Creator, our God who is our Creator. Our worship, in, uh, whether in music, as we write music, for those of us who are music writers, it must be reflected, whether directly by implication, the kind of God that we worship. I know sometimes as we write songs or write poetry or try to maybe become creative, sometimes it's very easy for us to create a God that is not a God of the Bible. And sometimes we use, you know, words and, and little titles here and there. And sometimes it's very easy to create a God that is, uh, that is our own creation because he's maybe a bit more acceptable to us. We have to be very careful so that the God that we worship is that God who is revealed to us in the Bible. Understand this about our God. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a God who invites us to a relationship with Him. That's the kind of God that we worship. But also remember, He's also a God of judgment. He's also a God of wrath. Because one day, when all is said and done, when heavens and the earth and everything has been wrapped up, as the Bible says, like a blanket, 
he will come down not not just as any other god but he will come not only to establish his kingdom here on earth but he'll also come uh, as judge and he will come and judge both the living and the dead what side of the divide will you be uh, when that time comes i challenge you he invites you even right now to come and worship him to come and be in relationship with him because he is god our father the one who has revealed himself to us through the person and uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. May the Lord bless you as we continue this conversation in our next episode. And uh, again, please leave a comment if you have a question. Interact with us. Let's know what God is what God is doing in your own life. And also, please remember to share this video with as many people as you can. Invite people to come and participate even with this video. And may the Lord bless you.